Hey, happy Friday. Hope you, you know, um, we're in a series of deadlock. Yeah, it's a series titled Deadlock. And today we're going to talk about chokehold. Chokehold. Because chokeholds in your life can place you into a deadlock situation and cause you not to move forward. See, a chokehold is something that has a grip around your neck, right? If we're talking about the physical. And it is has it, it, it's tightening around your neck, it's restricting your breathing, it's stopping you from moving, it's causing you to be afraid. If someone puts a chokehold on you, they're gonna bring fear, worry, uh, short of breath, all that, and you're not gonna be able to move, right? Cares of this world can put a chokehold on you, on your life, and which will cause you not to move. I'm here to tell you. You can be in a relationship that has a chokehold on you. And you are restricted. You're afraid all the time. You can't breathe. You're not happy. But you know, you, you say you're in love, but it's got a chokehold on you. You can have a job that can have a chokehold on you. You, 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 you feel stuck. You, 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 don't, you have no more job satisfaction. Um, you don't know... You don't want to go every day, you know, or it could be the opposite. You want to go too much. You you don't know. You don't never want to come home. You don't know when to stop. You bring work home because it's got a chokehold on you. It can be financially, right? You you don't have enough money. You don't ha you, you you have enough money to do things. You don't have enough money to pay your bills. It's, your finance got a chokehold on you. You're very restricted. Some days you can't breathe because you don't know how, what you're gonna do next. But then it also be the other way. You got too much money till you can't trust nobody, and you don't you, you you're spending too much. And and may, may, matter of fact, you're spending it on things that are not good for you because it's got a chokehold on you. It could also be depression. Depression can have a chokehold on you. Mentally, I'm just down and worried all the time because I feel depressed, I feel alone, I feel sad because this thing has a chokehold on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, and, I, and I'm gonna give you one just right now, for, even right now for me, you know. As I was doing this message, you know, if you notice I'm wearing my hair up, never wear my hair up anymore because of the gray. Let's just be let's just be transparent. I didn't want anyone to see all the gray that was underneath because on 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 top you, I have gray, but you can't see. I have more underneath, right? Um, and so I haven't worn my hair up in a long time because of the chokehold the gray had on me. Fear of people saying my gray. Fear of people saying thinking I'm too old. All these things. I'm fear of trying to be trendy. Right? It's got a chokehold. It had a chokehold on me. But when I was doing this message, I heard myself, the Lord said, release yourself from that chokehold. Let me tell you all, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Every stage of life God has placed us in, it's good. It is good. My gray is a sign of wisdom. It's a sign of maturity. It's a sign that God has blessed me to live because some people never get to experience gray hair. Somebody had a chokehold. What has a chokehold over you in your life? It's choking you, it's restricting you. God's got an answer. There's nothing that we can encounter, no sin, no temptation, no worry, no fear that God cannot support us in and walk us through. So this is no different chokeholds. So listen, we're going to go to the, the I want to talk to you today about this, the, the parable of the sower. And you know, it's the parable where the sower, sower goes out and sows seeds into the ground, right? And God is using that as a parable about him sowing the word of God in our hearts. So he's saying, you know, there's different stages that the word of God is sown into our hearts. But then in, in verse 22, I want to start with verse 20. I'm going to go to verse 22. And we're going to focus on that. It says, as for what was sown among thorns, this is the one, right? Because this, who hears the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches 
choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. You know what? He's saying, listen, the cares of this world, riches, suffering, trouble, can choke the word of God out and prove the word unfruitful. But I'm here to tell you the word is here to release you from those chokeholds, from the cares of the world. I need you to get this. You have to speak the word of God over your life to release those chokeholds, right? For me, I had to speak, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, I'm God's craftsmanship. You understand? I am God's work, which I am who God created. So I released that chokehold today. You can release the chokehold of being in a relationship. You know, there's so many words. Unless two agree, how can they walk together? You can release yourself by saying, when God says that you are to love no one greater than me, not even your mother and your father, it, sh it should release your chokehold by speaking those things into your, in and over your life. The chokehold of God before me, who can be against me? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Speak the word over your chokehold. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Speak these words over your chokehold. Listen, whatever your chokehold may be, it may be depression. Yeah. It's got a chokehold on me. And because of depression, I'm always in fear. But the word of the God says he did not give us a a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. We can speak that. Speak that into the atmosphere. Now, I'm not going to tell you that there's nothing in the natural that you don't have to do because we always have to align our behavior, right, in the natural, what we're speaking in the Word, right? And we should always be praying to God about releasing us from the chokeholds. We still need to do these things. But the word of God can release you from the chokeholds. And the chokeholds come to, mm, thank you, Holy Spirit, to release you from the word of God so that you can stay in the chokehold, so you can stay full of fear, so you can stay full of doubt, so you can stay full of concern. And God is saying, no, 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 no. So, listen, you all. It's time for you to come out of that chokehold. If you're in a job and you really want to come out of the chokehold, talk to God about it. Speak the word of God over it. And let God lead you out of that chokehold. Because let me tell you, the chokehold is going to have to go. Yeah. When God, because it says when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will raise up a standard against the enemy. For you and for me. So, we're talking about deadlocks. And chokeholds, the cares of this world, can put you in a deadlock. But I'm here to tell you that God has a way for you to release that chokehold off your neck. And that is to understand and speak the word of God. I encourage you today to go to Google, put in what your chokehold is, ask what scripture to support that. We got cell phones, tablets, computers. Use them as your screensaver. To remind you of the word of God so that you can daily walk, well, once you can break away and continue to walk freely away from your chokehold. Much love, Keita.